right, how's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and I am finally back with another Wi-Fi battle video after a long week of nothingness. I was just so busy with life, that's all. And I apologize for that. But we're back at it with another Wi-Fi battle, me versus Jolteezy. I wanted to try out my Dragon Dance Kingdra in this battle. But it's not going to be easy, as we have to face a ton of bulky Pokemon. Starting out with this figure off. I originally went for that trick, expecting the Butterfree that was on the battlefield earlier to go with a Quiver Dance. But he went for that Sleep Powder, forgetting that Grass-type Pokemon are now immune to Sleep Powder. So I ended up switching out and going to Crocodile earlier and checking to see if he had Fire Punch or anything that would be coverage to figure off. And so I was like, okay, if he's going to be very bulky, we must hit it on a special side. But he is actually specially defensive, and I did not see that coming. All these turns I'm going for Moonblast were kind of a waste of time for me and for my Forges. That is really unfortunate. And besides that, he's going to slack off all that damage. Which is even more annoying if you know what I'm talking about here. I was originally not going to post this battle. Just because everything was so scally. And yeah, just everything was so scally. I did not want to post it. But something happened in this battle that made me want to post it. So, I go into Hades, and my opponent predicted that most likely because he went for a fire punch, and he gets a critical hit. So, since I'm at this level of HP, I'm just going to explode. Hopefully, I do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, though, I do not do that type of damage that I needed to do. So, that was kind of a waste of time. I go into Kuku Gal again. And I try to do some more damage to it. But yeah, after two bulk ups, that is just not looking too well there. At this point, he could potentially sweep my entire team if he wanted to. Because look at that. He's going to get a paralysis on top of those body slams. And he's going to take me out. One of my win conditions for this match is gone. I go into Typhlosion. And I'm just trying to get a lot of damage to get a critical hit in there somewhere. I do not get that whatsoever. He's going to slack off again. Very annoying. Now here, he actually switches out. And that was huge. I was predicting him to stay in and go for another slack off. Or go with a body slam and paralysis. But no, he switches out. Goes into War Turtle. And I have Solar Beam. I'm not a choice Pokemon here, I'm actually a, a Power Herb set, which you just saw. He goes for Hydro Pump. The fact that he did not lock me out means that he's not fully invested in Special Attack. We both end up double switching out. I go to the Forges expecting another Hydro Pump because this is a specially defensive Forges, but he goes into Butterfree. And this was actually a great play on my opponent's part, because now he can go back and the figure off and set up some more. Or so I thought. He actually goes with a fire punch, not the body slam for stab, which means same type of attack bonus there, but no, he, he goes for a fire punch. Probably expecting me to switch out again, but he goes for another body slam after this. I wake up and I go with another Moonblast and I'm just like, you know what, forget it. I'm just, I'm just going to play very weird for the next few turns because I honestly had nothing for this figure off. Like, literally. I do have Katrina. Katrina, my Kingdra. You'll see it later. That's my other win condition, but I had to bring it in safely. So I here I go to my Typhlosion, expecting another slack off, just so I can have a free switch and just get a wish off here. And this worked out pretty well. Here I miss a Fire Blast, and that was actually not a big deal because, of course, I realized that this is a specially defensive Vigoroth by now. 
Yeah, see how much that did? That did nothing. He's going to paralysis me again, or so I thought, but he does not get it, and I knew he was probably going to predict me to switch out because Typhlosion is obviously very important for this team, but no. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm just not playing well with this Pokemon, apparently. And this is why I don't play NU that much. I never use tier because everything is so bulky. Blark. So, at this point, really, I only have Excadrill and my Kingdra left. I just go for a rapid spin. There's really no point in just attacking him when he has Slack Off as an option. So, here I, I was just thinking, okay, I give up. There's nothing I can do. He's going to take me out. And I'm like, okay, I have Kingdra here, Katrina. What can I do? We're going to do the best we can. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed and waste that Lumberry that I have active here. He goes for a body slam here. And I'm like, cool, I can take a couple of those attacks. And I'm really lucky that he did not get a paralysis off this one. That would have been huge. And I'm like, okay, I have plus two attack, plus two speed. I should take this thing out. But no, he lives. And this thing is so evil legged I knew it for a fact. And so I was thinking, okay, if he has a fast Pokemon that's Scarf, he would use it. But it turns out that Electabuzz is Scarf, but I'm actually faster because I set up on him. And the fact that Kinga is fast all around, too. I get confused here, but my one berry isn't. And he goes in the Grumpid, thinking that his HP bulk will allow him to take the Waterfall. And the reason I went for a Waterfall was to not only encounter a flinch, or so I thought, maybe. I, I don't know. There's a small chance that it would not happen, but I figured that Outrage would not KO him for some reason. I'm not really sure. But for the fact that I went for a Waterfall, and then Outrage will allow him to take out most of his guys, and I'm just like really surprised for the fact that his Butterfree did not have a Focus Sash. That was actually a main factor in the spell. Had he had a Focus Sash on his Butterfree, he would have won this battle. Just saying. But, and then I'm also surprised that his throw lived the outrage. Wow, that was very, 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 very surprising there. If he went for that earlier, he would have had a lot more Pokemon survived. And I was able to sweep his Pokemon there at the ending. What a weird battle, and what a weird narration. I I wanted to not post it, but I had to, because of that awesome Kinga sweep. Alright, so this battle book is finished. I'm finally here to uploading again, now that I have the time. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this battle video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. I will have another upload here really soon, later in the week. I promise, and I will hopefully talk to you all then. All right, have a great week, guys. I'll talk to you all when I have the chance to upload. All right, goodbye now.